Departing now for Mara Gate. Hey, son, hey, son, you'll be late. Tess. How's the Dodger? Right as rain. Right as rain. Looks like rain. Cool. Make a proper undertaker, you would. One fish and chips, Tess. Crisp and hot. Oh, crikey. Fish and chips. Here, what's he bowling for? Oh, he's happy he's getting something to eat. Cries when he's glad and cries when he's sad. He's a very emotional type. He's a new one, ain't he? Pinched him right from under Bumble's nose yesterday. He's an orphan, so Bumble was hauling him off to the workhouse. Oh, you've got a heart of gold. Wish some of it was in me pocket. Takes a packet to feed this mob. You know, it's a fine thing you're doing. Provide a home for them orphans. Any time I can keep one out of Bumble's greedy grasp, I will getting fat with what the council pays him to look after the little ones, but starving him instead. Well, deal it out, Flip. I wish it was more, but business ain't exactly booming. Dodger! Dodger! Bumble's caught another one, and she's no more than a baby! <laughs> Put me down! <laughs> Get the boys to our digs. I've got a job of work to do. Come on, hero. <laughs> Some hero. You want Bumble to catch you? yourselves a little sister. Oh, oh, crikey. A little sister. Oh, don't mind him. He's very happy because we saved you from Bumble. You can come out now, hero. It's safe. <coughs> got no mum or dad, have you, love? Well, you got both now, meaning me and hero and three brothers to boot. Put the kettle on, Deacon. She's cold and scared and could do with a cup of tea. Another mouth to feed. <laughs> oh, he didn't mean that. What's your name, dearie? Lilybit. Lilybit. Elizabeth, you mean? Well, seeing you're just a little bit of a girl, Lilybit is what we'll call you. I'm called Flip. Saved him from Bumble, too. Or maybe worse. Flip's got sticky fingers. Likes to pinch things. Shows awful lot, too. Oh, and that bundle of joy making tea for you is the deacon. So cool, because no matter how bad things is, he's sure they're going to get worse. Oh, and that weepy one is Happy Harry. <laughs> oh, I'm a Happy Harry. <laughs> got a faucet in him and don't take much to turn it on. Save the best for last. I'm the Dodger. Once known far and wide as the Artful Dodger. Artful meaning simply horrible? That's a fact. Headed for Newgate Prison, I was. Till I seen the light and changed me ways. He's a customonger now. All lying, bought and sold. Cool. Should be found and sold, seeing I get my stock from dustbins. Hey, she needs cheering up. Until 
I saw the Until light. Until he saw the light. Hey, little bit, little chum. I wasn't always the shining example of law and order you see before you now. Oh, no. Oh, listen up, love. Picking pockets, stealing lockets, drinking ale. Drinking ale. Lots of times I find myself waking up in jail. You see, I started very young when I was eight. You were eight. They couldn't keep me up for long. I tell the prison gate. Yes, he's a proper bad one. He is, he is. At least he was until I saw the until light. Until he saw the light. There's another tale for you, look. Once upon a time we had a country fair. Country fair! Must have been a hundred thousand people there. And as I mingled in the crowd, wishing there were more, I stole so many watches, I opened up a store. Yes, he's a proper bad one, he is, he is, at least he was. Until I saw the until light. Until he saw the light. Then I saw the light, love. Little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. Then around came the lucky time when I saw you. Yes, he's a proper bad boy. He is, he is. At least he was until he saw, until he saw the light. Until I saw the light. <laughs> Now you're one of us, little bit. A waif, a stray, a ragged little orphan. Well, maybe you ain't hit it rich like me old pal Oliver Twist, but you're safe now. Is he better, Doctor? No, Oliver. I fear we must anticipate the worst. I will return this evening. Go to him now, dear boy. He wishes to see you. Dear Mr. Brownlow. Now, now Oliver, no tears. This was a cheerless house until I took you from Bumble and the home for unwanted children. I, I have drawn a will, dear boy, which bequeaths my estate in its view. Uh, the will, the will, it, it is hidden here in my bedchamber. The, the furniture, a secret drawer in my... in my... Mr. Brownlow! He's gone, Oliver. He's gone! Oh, dear! <laughs> Gone, Miss Louisa. Dear Mr. Brownlow is lost to me forever. As Papa says, time heals all wounds. And now that you are heir to a great fortune, I shall no doubt marry you in time, even though you are quite beneath my station. <laughs> Samuel Snarkley here. I'm the old geezer's, uh, <clears throat> uh, I'm old Mr. Brownlow's nephew. Heard he was dreadfully ill. Mr. Brownlow has passed on. You don't say. Uh, <clears throat> you don't say. Oh. Oh. I am sorry to give you such sad news. Here, yeah, off with you, Sam Sniperly. You're not welcome here. Is there a way to talk to me, dear dead uncle's only living relative? Oh, fiddlesticks. Your thieving ways brought shame and grief to the dear man. Now, scat! No sniveling orphan or pudding face nanny is going to keep me from what's rightfully mine. This is what's rightfully yours. 
you ain't seen the last of Sam Sniper Lee, it's the poor house for you, missus, and the workhouse for him. I'll get my just you. What an uncouth person. Come inside, Oliver. There's much to be done. Such a bother. His name is Oliver, and his birth was humble. But Mr. Brownlow saved him from Mr. Bumble. Dread and double dread. What's going on? I can tell you. Mr. Sniperly came with a used furniture dealer and sold everything in the house. Lock, stock and barrel. The wagon just departed. Quite true, madam. And Mr. Sniperly has put this house with us to sell. But the house is not his to sell. Nor the furniture. Oliver here is heir to the fortune. Mr. Sniperly, I prove he is Mr. Brownlow's only living relative. But disowned. I myself was witness to the will. But we don't know where the will is, Mrs. Putty. Only that it is hidden in a secret drawer in Mr. Brownlow's furniture. And with the furniture gone, we cannot even search for it. Oliver, it seems you are a pauper again. A future union between us is quite out of the question. <gasps> oh, dear. We're homeless now, Oliver. <laughs> homeless? What shall we do? Oh, I've no concern for myself. I'll find work as a scullery maid, I'm sure. But I can do nothing for you except give you the few shillings in my purse. I would not take the little you have. I am young and strong, and have only to find employment and stay clear of Bumble. But it pains me to think of you scrubbing in a strange kitchen. I will manage. We'll meet in the park in a week's time and see how each of us has fared. Yes. Goodbye. I shall miss you, dear Mrs. Putty. And I you. <laughs> Goodbye, Miss Louisa. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. Perhaps. But if you make your fortune, do come calling. Seems a fine chap. But a pauper. Oh, well. I'm not at all sure I wanted to change my name to Mrs. Oliver Twist. My own name is Miss Louisa Charity Hayes Wellington. Lovely, isn't it? Lovely is as lovely does. Pooh, house agents are quite beneath my station too. If you've come to gloat over Oliver and Mrs. Puddy, they've come and gone. Couldn't care less about them two. Just come for a look-see at me property. It wouldn't be your property if you hadn't sold the furniture. Meaning what? Meaning the will, which names Oliver as heir, is in a secret compartment in that furniture, where it will, no doubt, be found by strangers who will turn it over to the authorities. And then you, not Oliver, will be the pauper. Blimey! Got to get that furniture back. I'm a very good worker, sir, and would give value for my pay. Sorry, laddie, but I've scarce enough work for one. Try the butcher. I have, and all the others. I'm fair game for Bumble and the workhouse unless I find employment. I've walked through half of London town today seeking work. Ah, you do look done in, and hungry too, I wager. Well, this bit of herring will give you strength, laddie. Thank you, sir. Quite fresh enough for my little charges, I fear. <sighs> Not quite sweet enough for my little charges, I fear. You want to gold? 
Old iron, old iron, bought and sold. The Dodger turns your iron to gold. Hey, I seen that. Put it back. Put what back? The orange is snitched. Want folks to think I'm a fagin, teaching kids to steal. Well, I was only practicing. Uh, well, practice being good. It'll be a change. Now, come on. If I don't do business, we don't eat. Old iron bought and sold. The Dodger turns your iron to gold. Dodger turns your iron to gold. The Dodger! Dodger! Where are you? Dodger! The Dodger! I'll get him now, all right. Dodger, wait! Blimey! It's Oliver! Hey, what are you doing in a place like this? It's a long, sad story. But I am so very happy to see you again, Dodger. <laughs> Blimey, it's a signal that Pumble's coming. Come on, don't spare the horses. to my digs, Oliver. Not flush like yours, I wager, but comfy enough. Have you been, mate? Everything was just lovely until three days ago, Dodger. Then dear Mr. Brownlow passed on. Oh, sorry to hear that, Oliver. He was a grand old bloke. He was that and more. I'm destitute now, Dodger. You mean he didn't leave a little something for you? He left everything to me. But the will is hidden in the furniture which his nephew, Samuel Sniper, he sold to a dealer. Samuel Sniperly. The Snipe! You know him? Who? Who don't? He's the type what even steals from his thieving friends. Sell the furniture, you said? Yes. So I am once again a pauper. And an orphan. And likely to end up in Bumble's hands. <laughs> oh, plug up the dam. Oliver ain't going to the workhouse. No more than you or the others. He's got a home here with us. Thank you, Dodger. But I grieve for poor Mrs. Puddy, our housekeeper who must now earn her keep as a scullery maid. She was like a mother to me, Dodger. Snipe, I ain't getting away with it. But what can we do? Find the furniture and that will is what? There's not a dealer in used furniture, pots, pans, rags and bags, who I don't know. Thank you, Dodger. You are a good and true friend indeed. Come on, stow the mush. Come we got something to celebrate. You and me together again, Oliver. Just like in the old days. Here now. What's going on? Where's Grunch? Oh, why? He's got my furniture. He's got lots of furniture. I want mine back. None of my worry. When's he coming back, you old crone? When it suits him. Now then, be off with you before I call a constable. Oh, I'll be back, you old witch. I can hardly wait. I've got another bucket of slops that needs emptying too. Think I'll do it now. <laughs> Wish I could help you, Dodger, but I don't deal with the likes of Snipe. Well, thanks just the same. Never will find it. I fear the Deacon is right, Dodger. Hey, we ain't done yet. Still got a couple of places to go. Nobody beats Dodger and his right-hand man, Flip Farthingale. 
Cool. Terrible show off, ain't he? Well, let's go. Let's see, there's still Humbug's place and Dinkley's and Crunch. Time for lunch. <laughs> Something to munch. A meat pie and punch. Fish and chips for the bunch. And we are grateful for that. But when my fortune is returned to me, we will have a feast fit for a king. <laughs> Stop slobbering on me. I don't mean a word of it. Oh, Mr. Crunch, wait up. Oh, what's a family man? In the pink, Mr. Crunch. Did you buy a load of furniture from one Sam Sniperly? I did. And just come back from delivering the same to buyer. Would you be kind enough, sir, to tell me to whom you sold the furniture? To Master Dreadley of Dreadley on Thames. He deals with a landed gentry and will no doubt get double what he paid me. And uh, where is this Dreadley on Thames, Mr. Grunch? In the country, half day or more of the King's Highway. Thank you, sir. Well, we're all for a stroll in the country, Oliver. Never been to the country. Should be a proper treat. I love the countryside, I see along the way Lazy animals are munching in the hay It might sound peculiar, but I must say The country is a place for me Listen to the crickets chirping their symphony They accompany the birds in perfect harmony it's so peaceful and I love the country grass beneath my feet. Cobblestones will never smell as sweet. Taking it easy is just my meat. The country is a place for me. And I love the country grass beneath my feet Cobblestones will never smell as sweet Taking it easy is just my meat The country is a place for me You can keep the hustle bustle of the city The country is the place for me to the master of Dreadley on Thames. What's the interest in who and where? The Dodger was here asking the same. The Dodger? And you told him? Why not? Did he have a mealy-faced boy with him, dressed like a tough? There was a fine-looking boy with him. Uh, Oliver, the Dodger called him. You dummy him, Mr. Grunch. Have to get there first. Find a will. <laughs> Nice horsey. Gee up. Get moving, stupid. We've got to keep going, or we won't get there before night. All right, what's up? You seen a worm? It's Sam Sniperly. Blimey, he must have found out where we were heading. He'll reach Dreadley before us, Dodger. Encumbered as we are, we are no match for him, even on a slow mule. Sick him, hero! Come on, sick him! <laughs> Ow, you're a disgrace. Pick apples, all you can, and fast. As we go along, drop the apples on the road. 
Hello. Who said it was tea time? Move, stupid. <laughs> Blimey! Nice horsey. Gonna give old Snipe a ride, are you? <laughs> How far now, Dodger? Oh, can't be much. We've been walking hours. <laughs> We're done for. Knew it all along. Always full of glad tidings, ain't you? Come on! Wait here a minute. These brambles will do just fine. Yeah, that'll slow them up a bit. Trying to give me the slip, all right? Oh, ah, oh, oh, ah, oh, 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 ah. Seems the snipe is sort of hung up for a time. I fear he will be pulling thorns out of himself until Saint Swithin's Day. Cheers me up no end. Cheer up. I'm certain the Master of Dreadley is a kindly man and will give us a bit of supper. I'm not very, very hungry. You're a fine, brave girl, Lilybeth. Hey, got our health, ain't we? And when all of us in the chips, we'll eat till we bust. Now play us a tune, Flip, to make the going easier. Well, we haven't got money, we're out in the cold. But you'll never hear us make a fuss. Cause we've got something richer than gold. We got us. There's a lot to be seen from your walking machine And we ain't got a tuckers for the bus But we've got something richer than gold We got us It's a comfort and feeling Tickles you whiskers Warm the cockles of your heart Just knowing you've got a place to be You can even joke Bradley House was just an old house, is all.
Just a dog. Want to know your own kind? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm leaving. I'm going with you. Well, there's nothing to be scared of. It's probably nice and cosy inside. Might even get a bed and some supper from the folks. Now, come on. Ridley Owl, sir. Good thing I came too. Hope I ain't too late. Here, you wait out of the wind. Till me and Oliver see what the situation is. Flip, you're in charge till we get back. Come on, hero. Some help you are. Blimey! I should have left you home. Knock on the door. Rap order! Perhaps they are asleep. The hour is late. Mm. Oh, go away. My husband does not take kindly to beggars. We are not beggars. We have come to inquire about the furniture Mr. Grunch sold to your husband. Oliver's fortune is in some place in that furniture, Mrs. His fortune? The will, which will bring me my fortune. I am an orphan, and... An orphan? Oh, how sad. Oh, it's more than sad. If Oliver don't find that will, Bumble's going to get him. Bumble? Oh, I've heard dreadful things concerning his treatment of the poor children in his charge. And all true. I know, for I was once his victim. Poor boy. Then you let us into search, missus. It'll go badly for me if my husband discovers I've let strangers into his house. We'll be quiet as mice. And should your husband hear us, we'll say we got in on the sly. Please, Mr. Stradley. Oh, very well. Thank you. Uh, could you manage a bite of food for a couple of little ones we've got stashed outside? They're terribly hungry, missus. Orphans. Little ones, the Dodger saved from Bumble. What a brave boy. I will find something for them. It will not be much, for each portion is accounted for in this house. Now, come in, but quietly, I implore you. This will light your way. The furniture that just arrived is somewhere above. We will proceed with all caution. I promise you. Last I saw Mr. Brownlow alive, he lay in that bed. Come on. No time for that, Oliver. Got to find the will. Yes, you're right, Dodger. Let us look for a hidden drawer. Some out-of-the-way knob. Ain't much of a supper. The missus done the best she could for us. Ain't no treat for the Dodger or Oliver either in saw that scary old house. What's taking them so long? They'll be out as soon as they find the will. They'll find it, and I'll relieve them of it. Oh, lovely. There's no use, Dodger. We've searched everywhere. Guess it just ain't here. Could do with a cup of tea and a sit-down. Cool, I'm done in. <coughs> Blimey! It's a drawer! A secret drawer! The will! You found it, Dodger! Well, I wouldn't have. If Hero wasn't such a coward, you're done good for a change. Oh, we must get out of here now, Oliver. Don't pay to stretch our luck. I shall consult a barrister as soon as we return to London. I anticipate no delay in claiming my inheritance. <laughs> that does it. Let's get out of here. What have you stolen? <laughs> Nothing, sir. Oh... Only took us rightly all of us. A likely story. But you'll sing another tune when Brutus here is done with ya. Save us, Hero! Help us or we're done for!
me, where are they going? Them's bugs! This way, mates! Do you, think, do you think it's safe to stop here? Don't you? After all of her, we're done in. Oh. Bit of luck coming across that chute. Yes. It goes back, no doubt, to the olden days when those who plotted against the king needed some secret avenue of escape. Freezing to death ain't much of an escape. Always <laughs> good for a cheery word, ain't you? Oh, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, it's been rough going for you little ones. Indeed it has. But happier times are ahead, now that I have the will. The will? Where is it? It is safe in my pocket. And as soon as we return to London, I shall consult a barrister and claim my inheritance. It was Hero who come through for us when the chips was down. Wouldn't have found the will, or even be here now if it wasn't for him. And he shall be rewarded with all the steak and kidney pie he can eat. <laughs> a porridge for me, a trifle. <laughs> and, and a nice warm fire. Here, put this around her. She's freezing. I'll give her my coat, Dodger. Well, I got a warm waistcoat underneath and you don't. Very well. Thank you, Dodger. You shall soon have a fine warm coat of your own, Lilybeth. Well, we best seek shelter. We're a long ways from London. It's a fearful cold night. Come on. Lost them, the little worms. And I don't know if they found a will. I'll be throw skip if I don't get shelter. Well, it wasn't exactly Buckingham Palace, but nice and cosy all the same. Fearful cold now, though. Sun's up. Bound to take the chill off. <laughs> no need for tears, Harry. The farmer will surely give us a bit of porridge if I promise to return and pay after I have claimed my inheritance. Now, there's a lovely idea. Nothing like having a pal with good prospects. Let's go. Blimey. Kippers and ham. Scones and jam. <laughs> Oh, in the tide. Where to start? Just follow your heart. Go to it. All right, loves. Everyone at your places. Plenty for all. Good food and good for you. Pass your plates, fill them up. Help yourself and pass your cup. Light a jam on your scones. Put some penny on your bones. <laughs> Grub, how I love Grub. Fruity jam, lovely hot potatoes. When your knife and fork cool off, try some ripe tomatoes. <laughs> Grub, I love Grub. Cheese? Oh, oh, I couldn't hold another speck. It was a feast fit for a king. Thank you, mistress. My missus taking proper care of you? She did indeed, sir. And we are exceedingly grateful. And grateful for the lodging in your haystack as well. 
and will be back to pay like Oliver said once he's got his fortune. There'll be no more talk of pay. It pleasures us to see little uns stuff themselves, especially these and being orphans. And this orphan, Oliver Twist, will never forget your kindness. Now we must depart, for I am eager to return to London and see to my affairs. Talks lovely, don't he? Tom, missus, I never had a better feed. Come on, if you can still walk. Have a safe journey, and I hope you've seen the last of that snoop you talked about. Snipe? Snipe or snoop, I hope you're clear of that horrid creature. I doubt he'll trouble us again. I have the will and his evil plans have come to naught. Goodbye, mistress, and thank you for your hospitality. <laughs> Hickles is pretty. Like a berry in a pot with dumplings around them. I bring around a round of cheese for you uh, next time you come to London. A smelly one. I ain't nothing like a smelly cheese. Oh. <laughs> I see to it. Now, where'll I find you boys? Oh, worse than anybody. The fishmonger or butcher or Rosie the flower girl. Ain't nobody who don't know the artful dodger. Lammy, he found the will. I gotta get it from him. Lammy, get snipe! <laughs> the wolf has been trying to do us in. What shall we do? You leave him to me. I'll keep him yard till you're well on your way. Thank you, sir. Them little horrors stole me property. Do tell. <laughs> We can ease up now, Dodger. It's been an hour or more and we have seen no sign of Sniperly. Ah, I guess we're shook of him. Oh, boy, it'd be worth a pocket, though, to see him in them pig slops. Dreadful for them pigs, though, having to share their accommodations with the Snipe. <laughs> <laughs> All's well that ends well. Now on to London and better times. Sad, ain't it? Get going, Pee Wee. Don't take much to catch up with them little toads. Oi, this ain't a stroll in the park. Get going. It could be a woodsman's cottage. Oh, wouldn't hurt to find out. The little ones are cold and tired. Perhaps he will allow them to sit by his fire. Might even give us a cup of tea. It's scones and jam. More likely to give us what for with a stick. Always good for a cheery thought, ain't he? Come on, we'll give it a try. Jay off, Pee Wee. I've got things to do. It's not a woodman's cottage. Them gypsy steel kids. Ah, ah, ah. He's full of a snail and a mullet, scullet, and a pickerel's head, just one hour dead. A bit of time to make it rhyme in some morning dew for a fine fish stew. <laughs> Eat up, a gypsy's pot is always hot, and with never a bottom to it. <laughs> oh, we were scared of gypsies. We took lies for truth. How wrong it is to fear others because their ways are not our ways. Thank you. 
lost. Snipely has the will and is sure to destroy it. He don't, and he won't. But he snatched it from my pocket. <laughs> he thinks he did. What he snatched was that no poaching sign. The one what was on the tree we stopped under last night. You took it and substituted it for the will in my pocket. It's in the liner, mate. Safe as churches. Figured it was safer with me, seeing I had more experience with the likes of Snipe. Thank you, Dodger. Well, something to be said for being light-fingered. In a good cause, naturally. Now, let's get back to the little ones. But if you knew Snipely did not have the will, why did we pursue him? Oh, didn't see no harm in letting him think he did, till he was well out of the way. In for a lovely surprise, ain't he? Done me in, them little toads. Got the wheels stashed on them someplace. Or they wouldn't have been so cheery. Gotta keep them from getting to London till I have another go at them. This up will reach London for nightfall. And happy to get there. This has been an adventure we will long remember. Are you certain we took the right turn, Dodger? I have no recollection of passing here on our way to Dreadley House. Well, we was too busy with Snipe to take much notice of the lovely scenery. Nothing lovely about them ugly birds. <laughs> Wait till I get my hands on those young uns. They'll get what for. And no one can do a thing to old snipes. Ho ho! Ha. I mean, sour, crafty, and cruel. I get my pleasure making the fool. A people who go by the golden rule. Oh, they don't have a chance. Ah. I judge it legal. Everything according to the law. I'm the slyest, thorniest, downright, orneriest bloke you ever saw. I mean, sour, crafty, and cruel. I'll grab those kids before they can think and throw them in the workhouse as quick as a wig. Oh, that a teacher. <laughs> Nobody can pour anything over on old snipes. I does it illegal. Everything according to the law. I'm the slyest, thorniest, downright orneriest bloke you ever saw. I oh, mean, that's sour, crafty and cruel. I'll grab those kids before they can see. Throw them in the workhouse as quick as a wink. That I teach them. Me. I ain't been using the old bean. All I gotta do is to see that Bumble's waiting for him at the gates. Ain't no worse fate for orphans than Bumble in the workhouse. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't done for yet, Sam Sniperly. I have not thanked you for coming to my rescue, Dodger. God, thank them crows. It's them what done it. I guess I ain't used to seeing a scarecrow come to life. Me neither. Made a good scarecrow, though, Snipe did. Ugly enough to fool even them blackbirds. Good day, mistress. Going to London? Aye, and in a hurry. Then best take the north gate. Travelling man passed and said all other gates is closed. Been repaired or some such thing. 
Thank you, mistress. You have saved us unnecessary steps. Are they out of sight? You can come out now. That'll do it. I'll take me shilling now for saying what you told me to say. Ain't worth a shilling now, the job's done. <laughs> Ta-da, missus. Thief! Thief! You done me out of me shilling! Sad, ain't it? Whoa, hey! Oh, ain't them little worms in for a surprise? <laughs> The Towers of London. Was there ever a lovelier sight? Can almost smell the smells. <laughs> I'm there yet. Something bad can still happen. Don't you ever look on the bright side. I mean, we come out on top, ain't we? Oliver's got the wheel, and we got a rich friend. I am rich indeed, Dodger. For you are my friend, and a true friend is worth more than gold. Come on, still the mush. Wouldn't have had a holiday in the country without you, would we? Hardly a holiday. Chased by an unfriendly cow. Gold and hungry most of the time. It was lovely. What a fine, brave girl you are, Lilybit. Well, on to London? On to London. And they can have the country. I'll take London slops and all. Hey, play us a tune, Flip, and we'll get there sooner. I dearly love tall buildings reaching for the sky Windows shine like twinkles in your eye An absolute stranger can see that I Appreciate the city life People going this away and that away in every which way How I love the clanging and the banging as they start another day it's so exciting and I love the friendly people on the street Smile hello at everyone they meet I'd rather have hub bob than tweet 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 The city is the place for me It's too quiet and too peaceful in the country The city is the place for me The worst is over and the best is yet to come Lovely. Home for unwanted children. <laughs> Can hardly wait. Been here an hour. Put your eyes back in your head. I don't part easy with what's mine. I was just admiring it. Solid gold, ain't it? Might not come through the gates. Plenty of other ways into the city. He'll come this way, all right. I'll set it up so they have to. Well, they'd better. I've a score to settle with that, Dodger. Hey, we got a deal and you best keep your part of it. And I'll see to it that the will's done away with. You'll profit by this, all right. Yeah, so are you. Five more poor little orphans. You'll collect from the council and all profit, seeing as how you feed them slops. Here they come. <laughs> Ain't nothing what looks and smells like London. Tomorrow, I will consult a barrister, and a new life will begin. Oh! Take off!
for doing me bodily harm. Do tell. Well, the magistrate be proper pleased to see you. You mean Snipe's wanted? Ruddy is precisely what he is. Samuel Sniperly, Halius the Snipe, Halius Slippery Sam, Halius the Pincher, and Halius other Haliuses, too numerous to mention. I'm harassing you for simply dreadful crimes in Wanstead, Wembley, Shuttleworth, and Sudbury, not to mention, etc., and etc., and etc. Now, off it. <laughs> That's a mighty great dog. Brung me here the only way he knew how. That him, step lively and no tricks. Not so fast, constable. The law says them miserable li uh, them poor little orphans got to be turned over to me to be looked after. Seeing they're behind bars and not available, you might say, and seeing as how I have a dreadful criminal in hand, them poor little orphans will just have to make do as best they can without you. I'll get you. Set out the crockery. See if you can find a little something in the larder. I'll build up the fire, Dodger, and put the kettle on. And Lily Bit shall sit by the fire until she is as warm as toast. If you'll come stay with me. How safe and warm you'll be And you'll have sweets for your pocket And a bright golden locket And a flower for your hair You'll be as comfy as one, two, three If you come stay with me You'll have me for a servant at your beck and call why you'll think you've become a millionaire You'll have so many blessings you can count them all And Christmas twice a year If you just stay right here You'll 
have me for seven at your beck and call Why you'll think you'll become a millionaire You'll have so many blessings you can count them all And Christmas twice a year If you just stay right children. Truly the loveliest words in all the English language. I am overjoyed at your good fortune, Oliver. Thank you, Louisa. I will take my leave now, Oliver. Feel free to call upon me at any time. Thank you, Mr. Highbottle. I could not have chosen a worthier barrister to see to my affairs. I shall do my very best for you, dear boy. And God bless you for providing a home for those whom our cruel society would otherwise relegate to Bumble and his dreadful workhouse. Goodbye. Goodbye, all. What a good man. Well paid for his efforts, too, I am sure. But it's lovely that you are no longer a pauper. Of course, that dreadful sign will have to come down when this becomes my home. I think not. The sign will stay so long as there is a single orphan who needs a home and someone like Mrs. Putty to mother them. Only in this way can I repay dear Mr. Brownlow for his kindness to a poor orphan called Oliver Twist. Then you've seen the last of me. Oh, I hope so. And good riddance. It's starting to snow. Now, inside, all of you, there's a goose to be cooked and a pudding to steam and a sweet to prepare. Now, come along. In we go, Lilibet, to light the fires and the lamps. You will be warm and safe forever now. And happy. And happy. Come along, Dodger. It's a dreadful cold night. Best get inside. This here your home now, ain't it? Not likely. My home's the flea market, and Soho, and Piccadilly, and Petticoat Lane, and every alley in London town where a costermonger can find a dustbin. Be a fish out of water in a posh place like this, and I know it. Now, I'm off. Now, they was a packet of trouble, but I'll miss them. Oh, stop slobbering. Should have known you ain't got sense enough to stay where you're well off. Come on, get in the cart. What's going on? Hey, hey you, come on. Come out where I can see you. What you doing here? Thought you was a copper, but you ain't. So I don't have to answer to you. Cool. Full of vinegar, ain't you? Well, you're too little to be out in this kind of weather, so go on home. You got none. Ain't you got no one with Dad? I ain't got nobody. We ran away from the workhouse on account of Bumble clouding me pals here. He did, did he? Well, they ain't gonna be clouded no more. Hey, there's a house down the street with a sign over it. Just tell the folks inside the Dodger sent you. He'll take you in. Who says they will? Me, the Dodger. Now, come on, go on, before you all get froze stiff. Guess it won't hurt to give it a try. But if it ain't, I'll be back and give you what for. Coo, spunky, ain't you? Hey, Afamo, when you get inside, tell Oliver I'll be seeing him. That I got to do what comes natural to me. And living here don't. He'll understand. Yeah, what's wrong? They're going, but I ain't. Couldn't stomach no posh place like that. You bore me. No more than you. Gotta do what comes natural. 
I'm going with you and make me fortune being a costermonger. Well, I ain't no fortune to be made in costermongering or in me side profession neither, which is saving orphans from Bumble. It's me side profession too, ain't it? Got them little ones away from Bumble, didn't I? And two of us giving Bumble an hard time is better than one. Lummy, looks like I'm a family man again. Then what are we waiting for? This ain't no night to be out. Oh. I can see where you're going to be a bundle of joy to have around. Come on. Old iron, old iron, fought and sold. The judge turns your iron to gold. Oh, 